all right guys motor ready here welcome to my channel the next topic i want to cover is the cruise control the cruise control application in the goldwing is very precise and flawless so in my year and you know over a year of usage i have not had any issues with the cruise control and uh, it is very precise and what i mean by that is you know you i always have the cruise control turned on so you you press the the cruise control button here and you you turn it on you know and when you turn it on you'll actually see, see that in the dash the yellow light that will let you know that the cruise control is actually turned on and that's how i ride most of the time it's not set yet so the way you set it is you just push the uh, cruise control button down once and it is set at the desired speed and when i say precise what i mean by that is let's say you have set the speed to at at 70 miles an hour and you realize you know you can go a little more faster so all you really need to do is to increase the speed is you know just push up the button once and it will go to 71 instantly almost instantly because it has so much torque and you press the button once more it will go to 72 miles an hour once more 73 74 75 and so on it is so precise because it is so instantaneous and it works perfectly I've never had a glitch there's no software glitch or anything with the way it's applied because of course Honda has been doing cruise control in the Goldwing for a very long time even the previous gen had cruise control you know the my 2012 Goldwing also had cruise control and was quite good yeah I, I just wanted to mention you know how precise and how perfect the application is because again Honda really needs to be given credit for the way they've built the cruise control and you know there is uh, People, I, I've seen some videos here and there about, you know, maybe, you know, cruise control being in the right side of the handlebar is not the best location for it to be, you know, available. But again, in my case, I have absolutely no issue whatsoever. So, you know, you, you throttle up to the desired speed and all you really need to do is, you know, with your thumb, just set it to the desired speed. That is it. It's really actually a lot more convenient on the right side of your handlebar than on the left side and it is just a matter of you getting used to you know in my case yeah the previous bike had had the cruise control on the left side right and i think that's how most of the bikes are you know bmws and all the other ones but it is it is just a matter of getting used to and once you get used to it, it becomes really second nature it actually becomes a lot more convenient um the, the other aspects of the cruise control is, you know, the way you disengage is again very similar to, you know, other bikes or even in your car. All you really need to do is, you know, slightly tap the front brake and the cruise control will disengage. Or you tap the, you know, the back brake and the cruise control will disengage. Or you, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, those are the two options, right, because you don't have a clutch here in the, in the DCD version. And once you disengage the cruise control because a vehicle in front of you is kind of suddenly slowed down so you want to disengage the cruise control and reduce your speed but then the vehicle in, in front maybe moves to a different lane or speeds over and you'll want to again go back to the uh, speed that you were originally set so all you will really need to do is you know hit the resume and slowly but surely i mean there's no jerk or anything like that it is like super smooth let's say you were at 70 miles an hour cruising and then you had to you know disengage the cruise control and you came down all the way up to let's say 40 miles an hour and now you've realized you can go back to 70 so you just hit the resume and it will you know from 40 it will go all the way up to 70 in a very smooth gradual manner but not like taking its own sweet time it'll all happen in a matter of five to ten seconds and it is so pleasant that you know you just get spoiled quite frankly you just get so used to the using the cruise control that you get to use it more and more and that's i'm not really complaining about it because it really drastically helps improve your comfort level which improves your alertness which Im you know ensures that you're, you're a lot more safer in the roads than otherwise so again 100 out of or 10 out of 10 Honda really deserves a credit for the way they've implemented the cruise control. It is perfect. Again, if you like uh, content like this, uh, feel free to you know like and subscribe. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you.